Let us begin our yoga practice today. And we're going to begin standing. So get ready to blow out the cobwebs, refresh the whole, the whole system, our whole being with yoga for everybody. So standing, let's stand, feel our feet, have a look at the feet, just get them comfortable with the ground, nice comfortable position, parallel with the feet. If that's something you don't do, if you happen to always stand like this, really try and work on modifying that because this is going to cause eventually cause problems in your lower back because the hips are turned down so truly really, every time you notice that's happening if that's you then just keep turning them to be here it's going to feel weird it's going to feel not right to begin with but um it took a while to get to this so it'll take a little while to come back just a little note there so let's get our feet a little bit more lively lift the toes up breathing in and out and lower them down, lift the heels up high, push up the toes. Let's see how your balance is today and then lower them down. Let's try that again, lift the toes up to energize the feet and lower them down. Lift the heels up high and lower them down. And give the legs a little shake there. Just to wake them up, maybe you've been sitting a while. Maybe not. Let's get them, everything a little bit more evened out. And then we're just going to bring the sides of the legs together, getting the side edges of the inside of the feet together, so we're squeezing everything together to this center line and we're also extending this line. So we inhale, lift the arms above the head, into the fingers, stretch up, lift the heels off the ground. So extending up, pressing together, holding the breath in. Hold. Really increase that pressure, that holding and then release slowly. Breathing out through the nostrils, slowly bringing the heels down, letting go of the hands, slowly bringing the hands down, all of them exhale through the nostrils. Inhale strongly, inhale strongly. Make it really strong, lift the heels high, squeeze together, extend up. Release slowly, breathing out through the nostrils, release the hands, it's like a slow, just enjoying that release, you know, going from tension to release. It feels so good. And you know, we create our own relaxed, much more relaxed state. But we're, we're controlling this, this tension, which makes all the difference. So we extend, we make effort, we lift the heels high, we press the legs together, we press the arms either side of the head, we hold the breath in. This lovely extension. And then breathing out softly through the nostrils. Bringing the heels down slowly and softly, bringing the arms down slowly and softly. Good. And then just hit the feet apart a little bit and roll the shoulders back. Let the elbows start to join in. Bending the knees, let the whole body start joining in. Inhaling, exhaling. The inhale is this opening up. You see, suddenly the arms are up by the ears, and just big, big circles. Really take them in big circles, looking up, opening the chest, breathing in, breathing out. Just feeling this brightening feeling with the breath. And then take the shoulders forwards. Again, still bending the knees, letting the body join in, feeling the fluidity, the flow of the body, lifting the elbows. Gradually, the arms are coming up. Bend the knees still. Yeah, diving into the day. Yeah, moving in and out through the nostrils the whole time. Hands in front and behind. Okay, just to wake up the shoulders, front and the back of the shoulders a little bit. And wake ourselves up a little bit. Let's just get the hands more lively. Okay. So let's uh, now come into a little cross crawl. So we lift the left knee, meet it with the right hand. And then we do the opposite. So we're just doing this whatever speed you want. Um, if you always do it fast, maybe try it slow. If you always do it slow, maybe try it fast. I'm going to go quite slowly. Good. Breathe. The breath will support you. Keep you steady. Keep you stable. Keep your mind focused on what you are doing. And then we're going to extend the leg. Meet it with the opposite hand. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Make that breath. Steady, 
and constant to bring your attention to it. And then we're going to take the leg out to the side, the opposite arm over the head. So opening up the sides of the body, breathing in and out through the nostrils. It's good to notice when you, you know, it's a habit sometimes just to hold the breath. So notice when that happens. And every time you notice that, then just let it go. And keep that breath moving constantly. Okay. Then we're just going to open the hips up a little bit more. Lifting the knee, opening out to the side. Breathing in and out. In and out through the nostrils all the time. So lift the knee high, open it out to the side. Warming and oiling the joints here. Okay, and then bring the heel to the back side. Just to wake up the legs a little bit more. Keep that chest nice and elevated, lifted, shoulders back, back of the neck long. So we have a good posture here. Good. Now lifting the knees high. And getting the blood moving around, getting the energy flowing with that breath moving. Good. And we're just with the, just going to give a little bit of a clear out now. So a bit like the storms clearing everything out. Inhale, lift the arms up. Inhale through the nostrils and out through the mouth. <sighs> Let that breath go. Let the arms just swing back and forth. And again, breathing in and out through the mouth. <sighs> ha, breath, good. And again, breathing in, out through the mouth. <sighs> Let's do one more of those. Inhale. <sighs> okay, so a little bit more lively now. Let's just uh, come to the front of the mat and come into some standing postures. So we begin with triangle, trikonasana. Just checking the feet are evenly spaced, parallel and hips width apart. And you really feel the weight is even between the feet. Now we're going to put the weight into the left foot and step back with the right. Get the legs nice and strong, stable, even weight between the feet, hips square. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, open the palms up wide. Breathe into the chest. Exhale, reach over as far as you can to the left and then down. Reach that left leg wherever you reach it. Could be further up here, could be lower down. Reach up away from it with the right hand. Keeping that right hip back all the time. If you find that your body's coming forwards like this, then you're too far down. You want to come a bit further. Really reaching the right fingers to the ceiling. Also notice if with that hand somehow you've kind of locked your knees. Instead, just soften the knees slightly so your legs are strong. Breathe. Notice if there's tension in the feet, give the toes a little wiggle to release the feet so we can feel the ground. Dropping that right shoulder away from that right ear all the time. Let's come up on the inhale now. And exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the right knee, bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Take a moment here. Put the weight on the right foot and take a step back with the left. So plant those feet to right angle. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, open the hands up wide. Exhale, reach over to the right and down. Keep that right leg with the right hand and reaching up with the left hand. Drop the left shoulder back, soften the knees, and breathe. Breathing, steady, and constant in and out through the nostrils. Keep dropping that left shoulder away from the left ear. Soften the knees, feel the feet. Use the inhale to come up. That powers you up, exhale, let the arms float down. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Let's come into a reverse triangle. So put the weight on the left foot again. We're going to step back in the same way. So same kind of distance, but now we're just going to turn both feet to point forward. So feet parallel. So inhale again, reach up and really lift the ribs. Exhale, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Inhale, open the hands up. Exhale, reaching around or turning around to the right. Inhale here, and then bring the left hand down. 
the outside of the right leg. Could be down as far as the ankle or wherever you can get to. It doesn't really matter. Or you can even have a block on the ground uh, beside your foot. Reaching up to the ceiling with the right hand. Breathe in and out through the nostrils. Make that strong breath. One more breath in. As you breathe out, bring the right hand down to the right foot and step the left hand over to the left foot. Bring the forward bend, bring the fingers to the center. Come up on the fingertips and look up. Inhale, exhale, forward bend. And again, let's try that again. Coming up on the inhale, looking forwards, looking upwards, coming up on the fingertips and then forward bend again. Now we're going to just Come, uh, come up again on the fingertips, get the hands to the hips, so straight back, lifting the elbows, strong belly to support the back, strong legs, and I use the inhale to lift up to standing, and we do the other side now. So, lift the arms up, inhale, bring them down. On the exhale, inhale here, exhale, turn to the left foot, inhale here, exhale, bring the right hand down to the outside, side of the left leg, maybe down to the ankle if you can reach that far, but otherwise far as out the leg. Reaching up to the ceiling with the left fingers, really still keep trying to bring that left shoulder away from the left ear. And breathe. It's a strong twist, so breathe deep to support that. One more breath in and bring the left hand down to the left foot on the out breath and step the right foot, right hand over to the right foot. This time, let's just let's let our body hang. Bend the knees, let our body hang. So we're in a wide leg rag doll. Inhale through the nostrils. <sighs> Lower through the mouth. <sighs> Give it a sigh out through the mouth. Keep those knees bent. We feel that pull from the base of the spine. Breathing in and out the whole time. Leave the arms hanging heavy, rolling up through the body. Rolling up, slowly, slowly, come to standing. Just enjoy that revitalized body. Okay. Now we're going to just bend into the right knee and bring ourselves back to the front of the mat. Let's give everything a little shake up. So just checking your feet are still in the right position, parallel, the hips width apart. And just give the knees, the knees slightly bent and the knees a little shake. And let the hips shake as well. And let the shoulders shake and make some sound. Ah, good. So we've shaken it up a little bit, so it's resetting. So now we can come into a warrior, warrior two, weight on the left foot, big step back with the right. Let's find our feet. The right toes are pointing slightly forward, square the hips and face the long edge of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Inhale, expand. Exhale, bending into that left knee. It's going in the same direction as your toes, pressing back down into the right heel. Extend. So feel these extensions, fingers extending away from each other. Left knee extending away from the right heel. Evenly. Feel that evenness. So you are steady and centered in this posture. And looking down the left arm. Every inhale, feel you're expanding in the whole of the torso and that's extending into the limb. Expanding the fingertips away from each other. Exhale, just sinking a little deeper. Centrally, sinking a little deeper. Pressing into that back foot. Don't get tempted to lean forwards or reach forwards. Stay centered. Come up on the inhale. Lower the arms slowly on the exhale. Bend into the right knee, bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Let's just shift the weight onto the right foot now. Step back with the left, big step. Warrior two. Get the hips level, square, and also thinking about the posture here in the pelvis, so pointing the tailbone down, strong belly. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the ribs, lengthen the body. Fill the body with air. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Drop the shoulders down. Lift the chest. Inhale here. Looking down that right arm. 
Exhale, bending into the right knee. It's going in the same direction as the toes. So opening the hips and pressing into that left heel. Extending the limbs away from each other. Keeping yourself in the center. The body is in the center, it's upright. The lifting in the chest, the pointing tailbone down, the belly is strong. The hips are open. Feet are planted, but they're not gripping anything. You don't need to grip because you, you, you have gravity to hold this on the earth. We don't need to hold on. Good. One more breath in and out. Sink a little deeper on that out breath. And come up on the inhale. Lower the arms on the exhale. Bending into that left knee. And then bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Just take a moment there. We're just going to do a little interlude here. In fact, let's just do a little uh, twist. It's a nice loosening twist. So feet are quite wide apart, at least shoulder width. Knees are bent. And we're just turning on our centre. Just to loosen everything up and give ourselves a little bit of space. Breathe easily. Just have this as a little bit of spaciousness. A bit of feel good moment. Hopefully this feels good. I always, I always find this feels great. Loosening everything up. Let the hands swing around the body. Back of the hands go pop into the lower back and slowly come to a stillness. Good. And then we bring the feet again, hips width apart. Let's just do it again. Do a little breathing and moving. So again, focusing in, focusing on the breath. One point of focus. Start with the fingertips just touching. Inhaling, lifting the arms up, lifting the heels off the ground. Bringing the hands together. Exhaling, bringing the arms down, bringing the heels down. Use your nostrils to breathe in and out. So I'll have a little touch there. So we're really drawing the circle, casting the circle around ourselves. For whatever reason we feel we need today, whether that is, you know, having a bit of a container, a boundary, maybe we want to have this energized space around us, maybe we want to cast some light around us, maybe we want to have some magnetism towards us. What is it we want to cast? our immediate surroundings or maybe we just want to surround ourselves with a particular color because it feels just because intuitively it feels right you can trust your instincts and the more you practice trusting your inst instincts the stronger they become the more the connection you have with your inner wisdom by trusting it by acting upon it Breathing out, coming down. Let's come up and down one more time. This is a simple but very, very effective yoga practice. You'll be, become much more centered and much more focused on your breath. Doing this at the beginning of the day, great thing to do. Doesn't take very long. Can be done anywhere. Don't need a mat, nothing. So, simple, yeah, practical tips to have your own practice. Come back to the front of the mat. I'm going to come into. Um, Peaceful warrior. So just standing nice and tall. It's about lifting the chest, dropping the shoulders, maybe pressing the hands together. Put the weight onto the left foot and take a big step back with the right. Again, just checking that the toes of the right foot are pointing slightly forward. It's not a right angle. So that's going to be difficult for the hips. Square the hips. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Yeah, enjoy that spaciousness. Inhale. Expand the chest, exhale, coming into this warrior. Now, let's see if we can come into peaceful warrior. So we've found this warrior two, Vibhadrasana two. Inhale. As you exhale, reach back with that right hand and down. As that right hand goes down, the left arm goes up, you turn the palm and you reach over the body, trying to make sure that you don't lose the bend in the front knee. The bend in the front knee remains strong. Hopefully, uh, a right angle or a roundabout that you know it's square breathe deeply looking up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm breathe use the inhale to come back up exhale sink into the posture once more come up on the inhale lower the arms on the exhale bend into that right knee and bring yourself back 
the front of the mat. Switch the weight onto the right foot and step back with the left. Big step. Get the hips square. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, expand the chest. Exhale, bending into that right knee. Don't forget to press into that back heel. So strong outside of the left leg. We need that strong leg because we're going to lean back into it. Inhale. Exhale, reaching back with that left hand and down. Right arm floats up. Turn the palm when it's up there and reach over the body. Keeping that bend in the right knee, in the front knee. Breathe deeply. Look up at the space on the inside of that arm. Keep that back leg, that left leg strong. Keep the left arm straight. Keep the shoulder, left shoulder away from the ear. So everything is very open, expanded, extended. Yeah, reaching. I use the inhale to come back up. Exhale, sink into the warrior two. One more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, arms float down. Bending into that left knee. Bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Let's have a little moment here. Lots of hip action, so we're going to come into a squat. Little squat. Make sure the feet are out the sides. You know, play around with that position. Whatever's going to work for you, the distance between the feet. If the heels are off the ground, put something underneath them to support them. And then we just let the hands come, or the arms come between the, the knees and let the backs of the hands flop on the floor. So the palms are facing up and the head is falling. So that the head is falling into the hands. Inhale through the nostrils. <sighs> sigh. And feel that sigh releasing the back of the neck the back of the shoulders and feel as you breathe in, you can feel the ribs maybe between, between the thighs there, just feel them expanding. And then feel that release, make a sigh. You know, when we hear the sound of the sigh, it really gives a strong indication to the body to let go. See if you can release the neck a little bit more. <sighs> and then just lifting the gaze slowly. And taking the chest, lifting it up. So trying to get the chest forwards, lifting the chest and sitting up a bit stronger. Bring the hands together. And we try and place those elbows on the inside of the knees. Bring the chest up and the hands together. Back of the neck long. If, you're if you find you're leaning, you're falling backwards, then just put something underneath the heels. That will keep you, your weight going forward a bit more. Good, and then release, bring the hands to the ground. Press the hands into the ground. Come into a rag doll with the knees bent, don't forget. Head hanging, arms hanging, body hanging, everything hanging from the hips. Inhale. <sighs> And sigh out for the mouth. Now let's rebuild, unravel, leaving the arms hanging, leave your head hanging, keeping the knees bent, breathing in and out continuously, keeping your attention on your breath always. It's a very good anchor, the breath. It will keep you much more present and coming to standing once more. Roll the shoulders back a few times. Okay. And forwards a few times. Yeah, good. So we're going to come into another warrior. We'll do war. We'll do a, the warrior balance, warrior three. So lots of good strong standing postures. So bring the weight onto the left foot. So I'm bending my knee to begin as I take the weight into that foot, uh, avoiding that tendency to want to grip with the toes, keeping the knee uh, bent to start with. As you start to lift that back leg off the ground and take the weight forward by pushing the arms forwards and you can start straightening the leg up when you're ready. Try and keep those hips level, try and avoid, it's difficult to do this, to this, this happening, the hip opening, you want to keep them level so your shoulders are even, you'll be able to feel that there as well, the shoulders and the hips like a square to the floor, it's like they're parallel to the floor, reaching forward with the hands and thinking the fingers if you wish or having the hands separate. Point the toe or push the heel away. 
breathe. Engage the whole body, breathe deeply. You can hold on to some furniture if you need to. And then releasing, coming down slowly, rather than just flopping. Good, give everything a little shake, shake the legs, shake the arms a bit. And we come to the other side. So that's a strong posture, you're gonna get nice and warm. Bring the weight into the right foot. Bring all that weight into the foot. Find your posture, breathe all the time as you're finding that balance. Focus your eyes on something. Take the hands forwards, interlinking the fingers if you wish, or pressing the hands together, or having the hands separate. And it's, it's your choice on your position there. And really trying to take that weight forwards and lift the leg so your body is in a T-shape, if you like. You're looking down at the ground there, so the neck is in line with the spine. Breathe. And release. Good. And again, give the legs and the arms a little shake. Okay. We're just going to come into another rag doll. We're going to come right to the floor this time. So first of all, just letting everything kind of release by bringing the chin to the chest. Slowly letting everything hang. Letting the body hang. Bend the knees. Then we just take the hands forwards, coming into the pose of the child. So sitting back into the heels, sweeping the arms back, and we're just finding a child pose for a moment. So a very nice contrast from a strong pose to a softening. So really release the arms, release the shoulders forwards, breathing in through the nostrils, and breathing out through the mouth. <sighs> Just really reset. Have the knees as wide as you need them so you're comfortable. <sighs> Good. And now we're going to slide the hands forwards. And we're just going to come into these little movements. So extending the fingers forwards, expanding the fingers, looking up with the hands, looking up at the fingers. Inhale, come up to all fours. Exhale, let the hips come forwards. Opening the chest. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sitting back. Good. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, open the front of the body. So really opening and extending and expanding the whole front of the body. Like really lifting the, the head to the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, opening the back of the body. So sitting deeply into the heels, pushing back with the hands, opening the backs of the shoulders. Inhale, soft. Exhale. So on the exhale, we've got release, but we've also got effort as well. And the effort really is in, is in emptying all the air out and just extending into that space. Releasing into that space. And the inhale is always lift into all fours and the exhale. And hopefully this will start to slow down. The more you focus on that out breath, the more you can lengthen the breath and slow it down. And this is a very powerful thing to be able to do. Open the chest. And really draw those shoulders back in this cobra position. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more of these. We're really getting very intimate with our breath, very close to our breath, very aligned with our breath. And this makes all the difference. Good. I'm just sitting back into the heels for a moment. Uh, just rest and breathe. Really soften the body. Okay, now lift your eyes towards your hands again. Fingers spread wide, hands engaged. I'm going to come into a downward dog. So come up. 
Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, tuck the toes under. Exhale, lift the knees off the ground. And let's just focus on the back to begin with. So pressing into the hands, extending from the fingertips to the base of the spine. Have the knees slightly bent, more bent than you would normally. So we can focus on lengthening the spine. Really think about the front and the back of the body lengthening. So to lengthen the spine, we also want to think about the waist lengthening. So keep the tummy tucked in and breathe into the chest instead. Spread the shoulders away from each other. There's lots of space here for your head and your neck. You're looking back towards the feet. Good. And then you might want to just get the legs a bit more energized by bending one knee and putting the other heel down. So bending the right knee, putting the left heel down. And you can exaggerate that a little bit if you want to, to get some hip movement going. Yeah, breathe. Keep those fingers engaged with the ground and let the knuckles rise. Spreading the weight evenly across the hands. Good. And then we're just gonna come back down to the swan position or extended child, if you like to call it that. And breathe again. Notice the impact of that posture on the body. And let it go. Now let's return to down dog. We're actually going to come to down dog and then we're going to come into up dog. So let's get some dogs coming up, keep the hands where they are, onto all fours. Tuck the toes under on the inhale, lifting the knees on the exhale, and we're in downward dog. Maybe, a bit, maybe it's a little bit easier the second time. Now we're going to come into up dog. So we look to the hands and we start to take the body forward, start to take the hips down until we're in up dog. So you'll notice my chest is upright, my heels are away, so it's not a plank. Really letting the hips drop. If that feels too much, you can always let your knees come to the ground. So if you're in this dog, then now you can move into down dog again. So inhale, lift up into down dog, exhale, sink into down dog. You can just stay in either if you prefer, or you can move between them. Move on the inhale. So inhale, you lift the gaze, exhale, you come into the pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink into the pose. So I'm just going to come into up dog and down dog. You can have a break whenever you need to. Just come into the swan position. Inhale. Exhale. The breath will really keep you steady and it will support you throughout. And if you feel like you just want to stay in down dog, you can stay in down dog. Inhale as you're moving. So help the movements as you're moving into the posture. Exhale as you're sinking into the posture. Inhale. And this will definitely develop some upper body strength. So it's a really good one to practice. We'll just do one more. And we end up in the downward dog. Then walk the feet towards the hands. Come into a rag doll. Let the arms go. Let the hands go. Really let the shoulders go, upper body is really released now. And we'll have a little bit of a movement, a sway. So shifting the weight from the right to the left. Breathing in and out through nostrils, let the head hang, let the whole body, upper body hang. I'm just gonna exaggerate that movement a little bit now. So we just start to just lift up a little bit so your arms are just, all the fingertips are just touching the ground. And then we're just going to maybe just exaggerate that swinging just as the fingertips are just brushing on the ground. So shifting the weight from right to left. And we're just going to release. This gives it that extra bit of release on the back. Hanging this body forward. Knees are bent, don't forget. Legs are strong. And then come to the center and slowly uncurl. Breathing in and out of the nostrils the whole time. As you unfurl, keep the knees bent, rolling up through the body until everything is lifted and elevated again. Let's give the back a little rub. Yeah. Back has been working hard. 
then we're going to come into a little mini back bend so just checking your feet or hip width apart and parallel really supporting the back here folding it fingers pointing down bringing the elbows close together taking the chest forwards and upwards bend the knees now take the hips forward so we're supporting when the hips open up so the whole front of the body is opening up keep those knees bent to protect the back breathe don't forget to breathe now use the inhale to come back give the back a little rub okay oh couple moments again a moment of gratitude the gratitude moment so bring the hands together check your feet this is lift the toes up and place them down lift the heels up and place them down Feet hips width apart and parallel, soften the knees. Think about your posture. Pointing the tailbone down, strong belly, and then feel the chest lifting up away from, from the belly button. Dropping the shoulders back, back of the neck is long, crown is lifted. So nice and tall, feet sinking into the ground, head going up into the universe. Feel a sense of your centeredness, your groundedness, and your breath. Yeah, so really bringing your focus of attention to this present moment right now. And your breath will guide you towards that. So breathing in and out and focusing your mind, your focus of attention to your breath. Breathing in. Now as you breathe out, pointing the fingers down to the ground. And inhale, extend the fingers out to the side. Extend them right out, looking up to where they're meeting above the head. Palms come together and then they move down in a straight line down through the center and point to the ground again so we've got this circle movement big circle and then we've got this line so we have the masculine and the feminine together the polarities together everything things we we want the things we don't want it's all just there the reality and sometimes there can be uh riches in the things that we don't want that they really teach us something and sometimes there can be difficult things in the things we do want maybe they're not what we imagined when we we get them so let's bring all of that to our gratitude sense of gratitude so as you're breathing in lifting the hands up really feel and allow yourself to experience and feel and uh, you know any kind of acknowledgement of appreciation and gratitude in your life right now it's a simple you know practice but it's a very powerful practice it does work it has an impact being grateful feeling grateful feeling grateful it's the feeling that's important so just identify the feeling with that and we'll just do one more here that's really being with the feeling of gratitude and appreciation and you know within that as we bring our hands to our heart center just closing the eyes feeling our feet on the ground coming into our center and feeling appreciation for ourselves gratitude for ourselves you know just how that feels and just slowly let the arms go let's come into a little bit of a release so knees are bent we're going to come into these twists just releasing and softening everything just clearing the space breathing yeah okay okay stillness and we're going to just come into a, a little half sun salute so again breathing and moving just check your feet again lift the toes place them down lift the heels place them down it's a great little thing to do once you get it into your body you know you start doing it all the time and your feet just feel much more energized you start to develop a bit of balance so nothing nothing wrong with that so we're going to practice now breathe in breathing out into the ground inhale lift the arms up exhale arms coming down knees bend fingertips touch the ground inhale look up hands come to the knee or just below the knees open the chest exhale forward bend Bend the knees a lot, push up from the ground, inhale, lift up the hands, 
Look up, exhale, arms coming down. Inhale all the way up, look up, exhale, leap of the chest, knees bend. Take it if you touch the ground. Inhale, look up, chest opens, looks up. Exhale, forward bend, straight legs, bend the knees. Inhale, strong legs, vital. With that inhale, the inhale. Fill up with air, exhale, dive down. Chest leads to the ground, fingertips. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms back, look up. Exhale, forward bend with straight legs, bend the knees. Inhale, let's make this a little bit faster on this next couple. So, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, touch the ground. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend, bend the knees. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, touch the ground. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend, straight legs, bend the knees. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, forward bend, bend the knees, touch the ground. Inhale, exhale, forward bend, bend the knees, push up. Inhale, exhale. Let's make this last one very slow, just to contrast. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees slowly. Touching the ground, looking at the ground, looking up, hands to the knees, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, forward bend, straight legs. Let's just stay here in a forward bend. So we're bringing our gaze towards the big toes. We're also bringing, almost imagining the middle of the chest is wanting to look at the big toes and we're lifting the tailbone to the ceiling creating this length in the spine. Make sure you have contact with the ground, either directly or you put something on the ground that you can reach. Good. Just feeling the sense of release on the out breath, lengthening the out breath, give more space. Okay. So let's come up onto the fingertips, look forwards, bring the weight onto the left foot and have a big lunge back with the right. Then we're going to send the left foot back. So we're in this plank position. If this feels too strong for you, you can bring your knees to the ground or you can come onto your forearms. It's another option, you can come onto your forearms. Some people find that is easier. And also takes the pressure off the wrists if you have problems there. So you can choose. Okay, now we're going to lower ourselves down to the ground. So either bring your knees down first or lower with strength with the upper body. And then we let go. It's a little back bend. Time for some back bends. So just breathe though. First of all, we'll have a little rest. So turning on the side of the head, resting the arms back. Feeling the breath against, as you, oh, as you breathe in, feel the body extend, expanding against the ground. You can feel that physicality of the breath in the body, your vitality. So we come onto our forehead, we bring our legs together. And we're going to just come into a simple back bend. So lifting the gaze, lifting the chest, Breathing in and out the whole time, lifting the arms like an aeroplane, lifting the legs off the ground. Trying to get as much of the body off the ground as possible. Keep breathing, but don't hold your breath. Sometimes we come into a static pose and we end up holding our breath and we go, ah. No, we keep it, we keep the softness in the breath, but we keep the pose all the time. One more breath in and release, rest on the other side of the head. Just have a rest there. Let go. Oh. Now we're going to bring the legs together again. Bring the forearms to the ground. So our fingers are level with our eye line. You can see that there. Come onto the forehead, legs together. Make sure the hands and shoulders aren't hunched up into you. Give them space. They might even be slightly off the mat. That's good. Use the inhale to lift your gaze and lift your chest. This is sphinx, simple. 
if you're noticing that your bottom, uh, you're using your buttocks, then switch them off by pointing the toes together. So what you really want to do here is be using the back, not using the buttocks. It's not, it's not so easy sometimes, because it's a habit how we use our bodies. But try and use, also the abdominal should be working to support the back here. So use them. One more breath in and then release down softly, slowly. And oh, rest on the side of the head. Breathe in and breathe out. Just enjoy that. So one more back bend. Just gradually building up to the cobra. Cobra is, is safe um, if it's practiced with care and caution. So we, if you want to stay with the sphinx, you can. Otherwise, we slide the hands back and they're more or less level with the shoulders now. Tuck the shot, the elbows in. Bring the forehead to the ground, legs together, toes pointing inwards. So don't press into the hands at all. First of all, just lifting the head off the ground, inhaling and exhaling. Lift the chest, inhaling and exhaling. And then finally, we push up with the hands. Bringing those elbows back, opening the chest, dropping the shoulders down. So we're really, again, expanding the front of the body here. And I want to keep uh, the groin on the floor there. We don't want it lifting off. Breathe. Slight bend in the elbows also helps because it means you're using your arm strength as well. And now we're just going to switch off the back and use a uh, bend into the elbows and lower the body down slowly to the ground. Push into the hands and sit back into the heels. So we release and counter pose that strong back bend. You know, really enjoy, it's so enjoyable after that back bend to do the opposite movement, to bring the spine back into an equilibrium. Breathe. In and out through the nostrils. Okay. So again, we come up back to all fours. Tuck the toes under. We lift the knees off the ground. And downward dog. Walk the feet towards the hands and then find your way. You can either then just bring the bottom to the ground, extend the legs out in front of you, give the legs a little bounce. And we slowly going to lower our body down here. So extend the fingers towards the toes and breathe in and out through the nostrils. So making this bit of effort here. You'll feel this in the abdominals. Breathing in and out. See how slowly you dare to do this. Taking you through that tricky bit, just as it's before you're lying down, it's really tricky, but you stay with it and then you let go totally. Just let go. Coming into Shavasana for a moment. Feeling that lovely support at your back, the ground at your back, the floor at your back. Breathing in. Ah. Oh. And sigh out to the mouth. So now just a few simple things on the ground. Let's just start with a little bit of breathing and moving again. We've been doing this today. So just let the feet relax, the legs relax. In fact, we're just going to remind them to relax just by rocking the legs out and in, back, back and forth, and then leave them in a comfortable position. Palms down by the sides. And now as you inhale, the arms are coming up. The arms reach the ground above the head. So we're really expanding the chest there and then exhaling the arms are coming back through space. This is a great for calming everything down, steadying the breath, bringing our body and breath back into alignment. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly and steadily. Keep the movement and the breath coordinated. Keep them aligned. Inhaling all the way up. And then exhaling. Arms moving through space, nice and easy. Slow, steady inhale. 
and a slow, steady exhale. Keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils, so slowing everything down. And we're just going to add something in here, so our legs are going to start moving again. So we start with the inhale, the arms are coming up. And the arms stay on the ground once they're on the ground above the head. And on the exhale, we press the back into the ground, we draw the knees up into the chest. On the inhale, we push the heels up to the ceiling. The exhale, we draw the knees in. The inhale, we extend the legs away. We could put the feet on the ground and slide them away if we prefer, or we can just extend them away. Then exhale, the arms coming forwards again. Keep that breath in the nostrils, inhaling all the way up. Don't hurry any of these movements. It's slow and even. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling, drawing the knees in. Inhaling, extend the legs away, either with the feet on the ground or not. And exhaling, the arms coming forward. So start to get this in the body after a while. Inhaling, the arms coming slowly up. Oh, inhale, 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 expanded on the ground. Exhale, press the back into the ground, draw the knees up. Exhale, inhale, push the heels to the ceiling, extending the backs of the legs. Exhale, draw the knees in. Inhale, extend the legs away. Exhale, arms coming forwards. Let's do one more of these. Inhale, arms coming up. Expansive, opening, exhale, press the back into the ground, draw the knees up, coming into the chest. Inhale, extend the legs to the ceiling, push those heels high. Exhale, draw the knees in. Inhale, extend the legs away. Exhale, arms coming forwards. Good. And we're just enjoying now. Hugging the knees, draw those knees up again. Hug the knees, have a little rock and roll. Then we draw a big circle on the ground. So hands on the kneecaps, knees together. And we just draw a circle with the breath, inhaling, taking the knees away, exhaling, drawing the knees in. Yeah. Leaning up the back, the pelvis. And then changing direction with the knees, drawing a circle. So we draw a circle with the knees, but we're also drawing a circle on the ground. So feeling that, connecting with that. Inhaling, the knees go away. Exhaling, the knees come into the body. Okay, give the knees a little squeeze. Extend the legs up to the ceiling one more time. Extend the arms up. We're going to take the wrists and ankles, but taking the weight off the legs, having them elevated, and then the other way. Hug the knees again. Put the feet on the ground. Slide the legs away. And let the arms fall away to the sides. We're going to come into a relaxation now. Now just find yourself comfortable on the ground. If you want to cover yourself, you can. If you want to put any warmer items on, you can. So just ease into this to begin. Breathing in through the nostrils. Sighing out through the mouth. So we take some time for this practice to be absorbed. So I notice first of all, the impact of your practice. How does your body feel? See how it feels now. How does the arms and legs feel? How does the back feel? How is your mind? How is your emotional body? 
just checking in with these various aspects and seeing how is this, what's happened, what has, what changes have been helped along with the yoga practice and with the focus, in particular the breath. And a few sighs just to ease into this little short relaxation. So breathing in. Ah, through the nostrils and out through the mouth. Good. And then just let that go and let your breathing be soft and easy. Breath is just softly, almost invisibly coming in and out through the nostrils. Eyes are closed. Feeling the whole of the back on the ground. Feeling the ground coming up to support you, to meet you. You're being met by the ground, by the earth, and held. Your body is being held very carefully by the earth so that you can soften and relax into it. Feel the earth like a mother holding you like a little baby, a precious being. And just feeling the breath softly rising and falling without any effort, without having to do anything. Just soft, natural, easy breath. And just feel yourself. Relaxed and comfortable and safe. There's nothing to do here, but just relax and be. Give yourself permission just to relax, just for this moment. So returning to the day, coming out of the relaxation, and then seeing how your body feels now. And just breathing a little deeper, moving your body, extending the body, twisting the body, do whatever you feel you need to wake the body up and just kind of feel into it. Maybe rolling onto your side stretching and just taking your time to come up to seated once more looking around kind of reintroducing yourself to the day how it is now and just give the limbs a little bit of a rub maybe even the face and the neck chest back so we just acknowledge ourselves be grateful for this body and then we just rub the hands together and we make some heat and some fire between the palms of the hands. Yes. And then place that heat and energy over the heart center. Close the eyes. And bring to mind your Sankalpa, your affirmation, your intention. And say that to yourself, take it deep into your heart and know that that is going to grow it's going to germinate and grow and eventually flourish just by giving it some attention every so often. Good. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice today. <laughs>